we experienced along the way was the table that doubles as the base of the bed uh, gave in and then eventually the bracket came off totally and that meant we had to sleep apart on little small beds and it was a little bit cold now it's another modification we have to do as you can see the grass is beautiful on the way to Kalkash Approaching the little town of Kalkarant, Marina's hometown. And uh, we're going to leave the tar road here. But first, we're going to attend a function. Marina hasn't attended for 40 years. Kalkarant and left the police station. Changed a little bit since 40 years ago. Okay, and we have arrived at the place where we must be. There's a couple of cars here. Big Kalgan function going on here. What's happening? It's a Kerk Bazaar Church yearly bazaar. <laughs> so, what's important here is that uh, when we arrived, we were to late all the tables and stuff was sold out but it's important to meet friends and family which we did we had a good time with everybody and of course uh, then they have to make sure that there's enough coals for the braai um, and we were given a tremendous meal to eat and then the main event of the bazaar is the auction where they sell a bread for 800 rand and a cake for 10,000 rand. <laughs> Now on the way to uh, to the farm, we went across the bridge at Kup. Uh, the This is the Fish River, which also runs through I Ice, yeah, 100 a couple of hundred kilometers south and this river runs over this bridge every so often every couple of years and uh, it becomes a mighty fish river 
Now this is on the farm Kup, which was historically quite important in the battle of 1904, I think, uh, in the battle between the Germans and the Namib, which we'll tell you about in the next episode. our destination. We'll be staying here for a couple of days at Kogas and we'll post some photos later. So we're going to end this video. If you uh, like this video, click like below and subscribe and then we'll see you in the next video.